Omaha. <laughs> Omaha is not a state, brother. I'm sorry. Where are you from, sir? We used to be able to beat Stanford in football, and we will return. <laughs> Chairwoman, yeah, thank you. Sorry, Corey's not as funny as, as I thought he would be there. Um, Attorney General, um, I know you're tired of talking about the memo. I'm not. But did you say you're not? I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you have, sir. Um, I think most of us and most of the American people are just sort of flabbergasted if your answer is you have no regrets about this memo. Is that what you're telling us? You think this was wise? Senator, the obligation of the Justice Department is to protect the American people against violence, including threats of violence, and that particularly includes public officials. I think that is still a, a, a concern for the department. This memo doesn't do anything more than ask our, lo our, our law enforcement to consult with state and local law enforcement to determine whether they need um, assistance in this regard and whether there are any federal jurisdictional issues involved. Um, the General, memo recognizes you, the right. you and I both know um, that it is political hackery that brought that topic to your desk, not reality. I am strongly against all violence against everyone in public life and all threats of violence. You've not at any point here given us any data that show why this would in any way be a federal priority at this time. The chairman, not here right now, but Chairman Durbin has repeatedly talked about how this morning he Googled it and is pretty convinced there must be lots of threats. Can you help us understand why so many states are disconnecting their organizations from the National Association of School Boards. You, you are aware that the National Association of School Boards has recanted of the memo, correct? You know they've, they've rejected their own letter to you. Are you aware of that? I read their letter. Their letter doesn't recant their concerns about safety. It recants some of the language in their letter. We're all for I, safety. Which I did not adopt. The language that they have recanted, I never adopted and never would adopt. Why did the Ohio School Boards Association sever their relationship with the National School Boards Association? Uh, I don't know. And Why did the Missouri School Boards Association sever their relationship with the National School Boards Association? Why did the Pennsylvania School Boards Association sever their relationship with the National School Boards Association? Because this was political hackery. The kind of stuff you told us when you were seeking confirmation that you would be against. And you had the audacity to begin your opening statement today by telling us one of your big three priorities was to make sure communications between the White House and the Justice Department were not politicized. The last three administrations in a row have politicized the Department of Justice, the three including you now. You told us one of your priorities in running DOJ was to reject the kinds of politicization we saw in the Trump DOJ and in the Obama DOJ. You told us that was one of your priorities. You wrote a memo here that came from political staffers who've been rejected by their own organization, coordinating with the White House to try to exaggerate a threat so that they could make sure parents felt intimidated. You've told us, I wouldn't use the exact language Senator Kennedy used about that you were a vessel, but one of two things is true here. Either you were just a vessel of political comm staffers at the White House, or you yourself are in favor of politicizing the DOJ. You told one of my colleagues a minute ago that you've not read the memo from the US Attorney for Montana. I'll read it to you if you want, or I'll bring it to you and you can read it. This is one of your direct reports. It's an insane letter. The US Attorney for Montana takes as predicate for why he's doing what he's doing your memo, and on October 14th, he sends a list of all the counterterrorism statutes that should be considered to be used against parents who are upset about things that might be happening at their school boards. Maybe there's lots of specific evidence of violence being threatened against school board members in Montana. But he, his memo, or his response to your memo, includes a letter where he says that anonymous telecommunications harassment, repeated telephone calls, or repeated harassing communications should be things that are potentially brought up as the basis for federal charges against parents. Do you agree with this letter of October 14th? Senator, I'm gonna say again, this is aimed at violence and threats of violence, and I don't care whether they come from the left or from the right or from up or from down. I don't care if they're in favor of curriculum or against a particular kinds of a curriculum. We can imagine this, all these kind of, um, 
these arguments against school boards coming from either the left or the right. It doesn't matter. Arguments against school boards are protected by the First Amendment. Threats are not protected by the First Amendment. And um, we, uh, we, got, we received a letter from the National Association of School Boards. No reason to believe. No, you didn't receive an anonymous letter. White House political staff co-wrote it with this organization, which is why the organization has rejected it. You know these facts now to be true, and yet you still won't disavow your memo. Why? You didn't receive some objective, neutral letter because all these people were being threatened. You are, the res you are responding to a political campaign to politicize the Department of Justice. How big is the threat that American parents pose right now? When you, you lead a big organization, you have 100,000 plus employees. You have a lot of violence to go after. Are parents at school boards one of the top three concerns you face right now? This memorandum is not about parents at school boards. It doesn't matter whether they're parents or anyone else. It has to do with threats against public school teachers, public official, school officials. It is not political. I'm against all those threats. I want to know what the data is. Well, I don't need data in order to assess To respond data. to a political the, staffer's no, campaign out of the White House. The purpose of this memorandum is to get our law enforcement to assess the extent of the problem. And if there is no problem, if states and local uh, law enforcement are capable of handling the problem, then there is no need for our involvement. If this memo does not say to begin uh, prosecuting anybody. It says to make assessments. That's what we do in the Justice Department. It has nothing to do with politics. Will you report back to this committee with what you find about these threats? Because what you just said, I completely agree with. We are against violence against public officials. You and I agree. We are against threats of violence against public officials. You and I agree. We are for local police powers investigating local crimes. And there are definitely yokels and idiots that make threats against lots of people in public life. I don't minimize it. You shouldn't minimize it. You're not minimizing it. But we both believe and in your heart of hearts, I'm pretty sure you believe that local law enforcement is more than able to handle some one idiot or 12 idiots at school board meetings. But you made it a federal issue, and I don't have any idea why, and at no point today have you offered us a shred of data. So my question is, will you pledge you will report back to this committee with the results of your investigation about how big a threat the American parent class is to school boards in the country? I will be happy to get a report back to you, but it, this is not about the American parent. Class. I know, it's about the politicization of DOJ, and you decided to submit as a vessel, and you know better. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that, Senator. Thank you, uh, Senator Hiromo. Welcome to our committee, Mr. Attorney General, and let me just begin by thanking you and your 